All right, for, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 4v4 on the map arena between me and the viewers. We spent a little while trying to get these teams balanced. Uh, I have some faith in this. I think this is actually probably okay. Peter Simp is very new. Uh, so I think Prime Troll Jr. might balance this out. And you playing as the Goss today, since that was the most suggested Civ in the Twitch chat. Of course, I'm always open to your guys' ideas, and I'll obviously be playing a different Civ after this. If you're wondering what's different about this specific match compared to the other ones is that this is a custom version of Arena I just made this morning that is exactly the same as normal Arena. The only difference is that it uses the African Kingdom's assets, so I swapped the sheep for goats. <laughs> that way it feels uh, it feels a little more fresh and interesting. African Kingdoms just came out, of course, and I'm going to be experimenting with all the new civs, all the new balance changes and technologies, and exploring everything that this expansion has to offer. Welcome to the stream, Emperor Vanilla. Good to see you. Dabulator says, Rez, why don't you do another collab with Barbecue Turkman? Now that he's back and casting again, would be great to see that. Uh, I don't think I've done any content with Turkman yet, I, th I think, uh, but I would love to. So, yeah, I'll see if I can go reach out to him perhaps over my winter break. And uh, maybe I can do something with them. So it looks like, yeah, so you got the dragon trees. Check out the storks. Looking forward to this one. Uh, now, where are my goats? <laughs> I was just talking about my goats a minute ago. Oh, man. So, so far, the month of uh, November and the first week of uh, December. Wow, where are my goats? Oh, man. It's been a uh, real struggle for me schoolwork-wise, but... At everyone's suggestion, and of course, uh, my own prerogative, I have been you know, working really hard to try and get all that. This is the worst start I've ever had. What the? <laughs> it took me a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, I've, been, I've been putting my priorities with the, the schoolwork, and the good news is, is I'm almost done with it. So around December 14th, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Uh, usually I upload things to YouTube maybe like a week or so after they're actually recorded. So maybe by the time you watch this, I'll already be on the break. This, of course, means that if you have any suggestions in, like, your comments, uh, and I read them, even though I don't get a chance to respond to all the comments, I do read them all, uh, you might, it might take, like, a week or so for me to actually do what you suggested. Now, the background, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but we got the construction. There's a crocodile over there, if you saw that for a minute. Hello, Lockpick Lady, welcome to the stream. I swear, by the way, it's not my spaghetti code. <laughs> 49 food, what is the start? <laughs> oh, God. I swear, this is not my spaghetti code. Um, this is the default. Like, I went straight, extracted this right from the files. This is literally Arena, the exact same code, so. The only difference is, is that I have goats instead of sheep. Uh, apparently, if these were sheep, they would still have spawned in a uh, ridiculously far location. 49 food again. I'm getting, I'm getting wrecked. Now, the good news is, is that... Uh, hopefully people will watch this video and they'll be like, Oh man, check out how weak the Goths are. I'm never playing that Civ. And then I don't have to play against the Goths ever again. Sniper Jolly says, I remember you did some games with him on Skype way back when. Oh shit, you're right, but that was a really long time ago. <laughs> Indeed, it has been a while. Uh, yeah, I did do that, didn't I? I should do more stuff with Turkman. I will do that. <laughs> Guys, the suggestions do matter. People are looking for boars, but there's elephants. Yeah, take that. Separates the men from the boys. You're only good at AoE too if you can lure the elephant and the boars. This opening is so bad. God, look at this one villager too. My my goat placement. <laughs> Struggle. Von Wangeningen says, "Nice trick to get a little extra food from the elephants." Yes, uh, they do have like slightly extra food on them compared to. Actually, I'll get. Oh wait, I already have one. Uh, compared to a boar, uh, it's not that substantial, but every little bit counts. This opening is bad, and it should feel bad. Okay. Look at this bad boy. Can you guys hear all the chainsaws outside? Because they're like chopping a tree down. <laughs> I can barely hear the in-game sound effects. Dark Paladin says Chinese are way worse than Goss IMO. Uh... Maybe on, like, Nomad, I guess. If you mean, like, annoying to play against. I think the Goths are a very feast or famine sieve that, uh, you know, either you have an answer to Huskarls prepared or you don't, and you die. <laughs> the Huskarls are either ridiculous or very, very 
weak, uh, depending on what access, uh, what, what units your opponent has access to, and whether or not they teched into them initially. Oftentimes, you can catch your opponent uh, with their pants down, where they'll do something like uh, they'll go like imp into arbs, and then their arbalist will get decimated by those huskarls. Can't hear the chainsaws? Cool. Hello, Dabulator. You have been here since day one, and I appreciate that. Eric has also been here for days. Oh my god, so they get 49 food every now and then because the villagers finish the goat and the decay causes to lose a little bit. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, it is a shame, but it is part of the game. Happens sometimes. Sometimes it's not a big issue, though. There's my elephant. Yeah, I modded it so that there's a 30% chance that instead of boars, you'll get elephants. Pretty cool, right? But uh, a lot of the time it'll be boars. So yeah, the extra... I mean, I can't click on the elephant to show you because unit selection in this game is a little wonky. I'm clicking on it, I swear. Uh, <laughs> in the old AV2, it would have uh, would have clicked on the unit behind the gate. They do have a little bit more food. But it's not too substantial. It does help, though. Lupas says it's really windy here, so I can't hear the chainsaws. Okay. Yeah, Kappa says the chainsaw sounds very quiet. Well, that speaks, that speaks volume about the quality of my microphone. Uh, that you can actually still hear that slightly. Oh god, I'm the goss. I was wondering, I was like, where's all the firepower coming from? <laughs> I just destroyed that elephant. Easiest game of my life. Yeah, thanks to uh, Jay Smallman's incredibly generous donation, I actually upgraded my mic several months ago on, like, April 1st. And thanks to someone else as well, um, perhaps I can get a gold-plated <laughs> microphone. Who knows? <laughs> hey, Jesus on Toast. Plugging the stream. Yeah, dude, I just I just went straight into the code this morning, and I replaced all the uh, arena assets with African Kingdoms ones. So it's the same map. So if your map generation is bad, I swear I just changed the uh, the units, not any of the values. But this is how do the Portuguese fare against the Goths? Um. I haven't played that matchup that much yet, uh, but I will say that I think the Portuguese should be favored there. I'm assuming in almost every situation, especially on the water, it shouldn't even be close. In terms of uh, on land, I mean, the Portuguese have access to champions, which is a very, very, very important thing to have in the matchup versus Goss, basically no matter what city you're playing, unless you have some form of other really good infantry. Thankfully, the Portuguese do have access to champions and a fantastic gunpowder line, which is great, so I would assume that the Portuguese would be just fine there. Uh, the Portuguese should also have a stronger economy bonus. 15% cheaper gold cost on units doesn't matter that much in the first two ages, but in the Castle Age and Imperial Age, it adds up a lot. Papa Pau says, playing the Goths? What does the world come to? I know. A lot of people in the chat wanted me to play as the Goths today, and uh, I actually do find the Goths very fun. I feel dirty when I play the Goths, but, you know, it's about time that I get my revenge, right? People seem to enjoy me playing them, so... I I, said, I was going to say this game I would put on my metaphor... What the f... Oh my god, did I send a villager over there, too? No one saw that. I was going to say this game I was going to put on my metaphorical triad pants and just, you know, drop some castles on some fools and spam huskarls, but... Uh, my opening was so bad because it took me a minute to find uh, my, my goats that I don't even know if that's possible. So I might actually have a very slow game, but... Can't win them all. As always, it's difficult for me to play perfectly when I'm reading the chat, answering questions, talking, and trying to play the game, too. Ah, uh, okay, Flash. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think he can... I'm not sure if he can whisper me, Flash. I thought I turned that off, or maybe I turned it back on. I don't know. That's unfortunate, though. I just wish that... I just... There are ways to report Twitch users, by the way. Like, you guys can absolutely do that. Just go to his profile, and you can just click the little report button. So Twitch staff is very diligent about that stuff, but... I just wish that he knew that there's no reason to, you know, troll or spam or be angry. Like, I, I understand why people do that. Uh, you know, in the case of, like, angry comments, you know, I usually believe that people do that because they think that being louder and angrier is the only way to get their voice heard. And it comes out from, like, a frustration uh, where they're just trying to you know, speak their mind and no one's listening, right? But I'm here to listen, so you don't have to be mad. 
Uh, and when it comes to trolling, you don't have to troll to get attention. Uh, I think a lot of people do it because they're, they're, you know, they're lonely and they just want someone to, you know, they just want attention. And attention's attention, um, whether it be good or bad. So I just want you to know, if you're out there, that you don't have to troll. I still love you. And I'd be happy to just talk to you and be your friend. That being said, uh, you're not allowed to troll my chat, so... <laughs> But as soon as you decide that you don't want to do it, welcome you back in open arms. But I, uh, I will be strict about that. Yeah, that's my piece. Well, on the topic of uh, showing mercy to players, this is this is one that I've been getting a lot recently. Uh, I explained all this in my update video, and uh, I don't want to bring it up too much. But sometimes, when there's someone like really new in the game. Uh, I try not to kill them instantly. Sometimes I might pull my army back. It's very rare that you'll see me actually... Like, obviously I do it because... I want to make sure that they actually have fun too. It's very rare that that costs me a game. It's incredibly rare. Usually it's actually inconsequential, and I usually only do it when the teams are, for whatever reason, incredibly stacked in my favor, and we're basically guaranteed to win. So, I, I do that so that, you know, they have a chance to at least do something before I, I come in there with Huskarls and, you know, shank them down. Usually it doesn't matter, like 90% of the time it doesn't matter, uh, and I will also send my army somewhere else. Uh, so it's more like not ganging up on players rather than just not doing anything. So I am trying to win, just want that to be really clear. I don't know why I bother justifying myself uh, though, because I feel like the people who actually care know all that stuff. But it's also a communication thing too, just want to make sure that we're all on the same page, y'all. If that makes any sense. Pizza says, reporting someone to Twitch isn't going to stop them from joining your stream lobby. Th that's true, but really, like, I think it's amazing, actually, that we don't have a password system for Twitch lobbies. It doesn't really bother me that much, though. Like, really, again, I just feel bad for the, the physical humans. Thank you, Land Liam, for the resub. Coming up on that one year. I remember the first day I saw you, man. That was when I was still playing uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Uh... It doesn't really bother me that much, just it's probably annoying for the people who are like new and they're like, Oh my god, I can't join your lobby because it always says it's full. But I, I don't think it makes a big difference, you know. This doesn't really bother me. It's stone already? What full, Mr. Lemon Bender? You want me to drop some castles? You want me to make Huskarls right now? Lemon Bender wants me to just pick up my bags, stop whatever I'm doing, quit YouTube, and make Huskarls. <laughs> He wants me to lube up, and I'm, I'm ready for that. Let me just build this town center first, though. I don't think I'm quite ready for that level of commitment. I, I'm going to need a town center first. That's a barracks. There's a little bit of delay, uh, which you can see on the screen, uh, which sometimes makes me mess up my hotkeys, because I'm used to doing it uh, with a little bit more responsiveness. Now, instead of both of those farms, I probably could have built another TC, so maybe I should have done that. I'm not sure. Actually, I probably should have done that. But this is probably fine. I can actually buy 100 wood and then still build a TC. I won't need this gold immediately. Now, where do I want this TC? Put it over here. The seesaw. Yeah. There we go. Perfecto. Now, I have been... Uh, again, like... I. I feel like some people are overestimating the amount of free time that I've had recently. Academically, it has been it's been one hell of a struggle. But coming December, soon TM. Lots of interesting stuff on the way. I'm open to people's suggestions. I don't really know what my plans are for December, but all I can tell you is that there's fun stuff coming, and there's going to be more stuff. So, <laughs> coming soon to a theater near you, this December stuff. Not exactly sure what the plan is. I will probably I will be doing something that's not AOE. Uh, with the usual AV2 content, so just extra stuff. Uh, not sure what game that should be, though. Uh, it's not like... Yeah, it's just extra content. Uh, I haven't done Prismata in a while. Not that... Uh, people used to ask me a lot, but no one's asked me too recently, and I'm sure some people are curious. Uh, oh, away, Mender. I am from California, the United States. Uh, I haven't done any Prismata recently. Not because I've lost my passion for the game, but just because... Prismata has been, uh, you know, very, very slow development cycle, so I'm basically waiting until there's more content, until there's more stuff! And then once there's more stuff, I will probably do that. 
one thing I would like to do besides more regular updates on Facebook just keep people up to date because I think that it's like unreasonable for me to expect people to watch like everything I upload to be up to date with uh, whatever's going on in the res universe. Uh, I might have like a Google Doc that has like a to-do list that I, I update. Uh, Keller says res is December. That's true, but it's not December 14th because that's when I'm free. Right, like update my to-do list. Uh... I'm pretty bad with that kind of stuff, but I think that I would like to. There will be some Age of Mythology at some point uh, for the Tale of the Dragon expansion, so I'll be doing something for that. The Chainsaws agree with me. Ooh, ooh. So I'll be doing some of that. I would like to play through the Prismata campaign at some point, uh, whenever it comes out. It's on the to-do list. And uh, show off things like Empires Apart, Feudal Wars, those things are all on the to-do list. Maybe do another game of AW2 for the DS. I'm not sure if I should ever finish Stalin vs. Martians, but it's something I've heavily considered. Uh, LLE says, play Path of Exile with a new update coming in 10 days. What does that update add, my friend? I used to play Path of Exile with my with some of my friends. I played a lot of Diablo 2 as a kid, and I felt like felt like home. Almost docked my wood line. Nice. So, uh, I'm going to boom up a little bit, and I'm doing this because I start with Stone Walls. It's Arena, so I'm not in too much of danger of being rushed. So I'm going to build up my economy and then start working on a military soon. But I can afford to go for this greedier opening because there is no danger of being rushed. Something I'm working on doing is remembering to get a uh, horse color a little bit sooner. I don't time my upgrades perfectly because it's something that's really difficult to do if uh, when I'm streaming. But getting horse color is something that uh, ideally you want to get horse color before you put down too many farms. Double bid axe though is the most important uh, eco upgrade that you can snag. As long as it's play Dora. You mean Dota or Dora? Someone else says, are you like Bolshevik on bicycle? <laughs> yes, my name is Resonance and I like you. One thing that I regret that I, I never did uh, is I never actually got a chance to rip all the assets out of Stalin versus the Martians because I have no idea how to do this. So if anyone actually knows or, or they could do it, I would, I would love it if someone could just go into the Stalin vs. the Martians code, rip out all the sound assets, and upload it as a mod on the Steam Workshop. He's aware this is here, yeah. Okay, he's aware of that, but... I want to make sure that everyone on my team is aware of that. He has a watchtower there, which is cute, but not quite going to cut it. I might have to send some back up. I guess Messi do a fast castle. Already in the castle age. Unless you mean build a castle. Dominus has just played the shit out of Path of Exile. There's nothing left for me to do except farm for ludicrously expensive gear, which is just resin sleeper. Feel your mang? Come play Guild Wars 2 with us. Uh, if people actually come back to it. Heart of Thorns wasn't as well received as I thought. Some of the changes... Well, I've personally been enjoying Heart of Thorns. It seems to have done a lot of damage to the community. Hopefully they update that. What? Huh? Oh shit, so, so this is what I was talking about with the Feast or Famine thing with Goths. Is as soon as I get enough stone, I'm putting down a castle, right? And, uh, you know, my poor friend Fenthorior is going to be opening up with those crossbows, which will make him a sitting duck when Huskarls come out at some point in a theater near you. Glatch says, could you start a cooking channel? I'm not a particularly good chef, but I'm working on it. Canada Curl says, maybe scout the open pocket behind your base. Probably should do that. Oh, shit. That's a struggle. Alright, I might actually just have to buy the stone for a castle. Now, if I miss any of your questions, because right now I actually have to start playing the game, otherwise I'm going to die. Uh, then by all means, just feel free to post it in a couple minutes. Uh, between games is also mucho good, yeah. I will get to you. I love you even if I don't answer your questions. What is this? This is Arena, boys! Come on! It doesn't have to be like this. Alright, you big brutes, you big bullies. Well, the most important piece of advice I can give you is to, you know, just make sure that your town center is always working, creating bills, doing something. Um, you know, whether you're under attack or not, I'm actually really suffering in the food economy right now, so I should probably just shift, like, all these bills into something else. I don't think there's anything in this back pocket, but I could be horribly wrong. I should scout for that, just to be sure. Uh, I should still be able to build this castle anyway, even though he's poking at me like a little weenie. Uh, might want another mill. Okay, so hopefully someone is backing up my friend over here. Thankfully, I think that Uger Iceman is not shooting at the gate, so that's good. Fear the siege tower. Siege tower? Wait, how do you get the how do you get the guy in? Is that what he's saying? What about? I don't know how you did that. How did he do that? 
Is this one of them newfangled bugs? That's cheating, my friend. I don't know how Age of Empires 2 works anymore, man. The spaghetti code is all over the place. I think, though, his uh, crossman, yeah, as soon as it leaves the shelter of my town center, he will get sniped. Okay, sweet. Let's get the husk girls coming out. Snag this upgrade. So that'll learn him. I think he just glitched through my wall. It's pretty sweet. I don't know how he did that. Uh, what I'm going to need is uh, scale mail armor. Very important. Maybe Mobius one says, can't blame their strategy or gossip roll. It's true. Never look at the gossip boom. Their early game is weak due to a lack of a strong economy bonus, which basically all the good top tier civs have. But it depends on the map, of course. Uh, some civs can get away with having a weak early game. You know, civs excel on different maps, different situations, play styles. And the goths, uh, if, you know, they get going, they're pretty spooky. So I think it's smart that the enemy team is putting on some pressure. I think I have too many vills queued up at this one TC. <laughs> So let me fix that. Got a couple of these bad boys out. Uh, that's another castle, isn't it? I might have to send some help. Solana says, why don't I stream AV2 HD? It's pretty niche. I might do that. Case, uh, Case Domeski says, make a William Wallace campaign stream. It'll only take five minutes. <laughs> we'll see. I was really considering playing through the StarCraft 2 campaign, and again, like I am I am all ears for your suggestions. One thing I'm never sure of is if it's okay that I, I stream games that I'm not like good at. I'm not sure if I should be Limiting myself to games that I actually know how to play. Uh, I was considering doing the StarCraft 2 campaign, but I feel like that might take too long. I'm not sure if I'll have the ability, the free time to actually complete the whole thing. So something like the William Wallace campaign is at least a little bit more manageable. Uh, I don't know exactly what my Huskarls are doing, but I didn't even tell them to move that way. I'm telling them to attack move. Holy shit, unipathing is so bad in HD. Alright, I give up. That's a, ta a tab is attack move, so unlike patrol, there's supposed to be no delay, and they're just supposed to go, you know, and just stab people, but I'm actually going to have to build a mangano. Wow, attack move is broken. How long has it been broken? Gossel said no stone walls, that's true. Delta, that's another important part of it. Holy crap, that's embarrassing right there. I don't know what that was. Uh, I still don't have enough gold. Uh, is that my only gold mine inside the walls? That might be. Oh, he's going in. Oh my. Well, some of those knights are mine. Some of those knights are not mine. Prime Troll, thank you. They might need you on the other side, though. Anyway, I appreciate everybody being patient with me during a period of deep, deep academic stress. But I'm almost done with the shenanigans. I'm trying to back this fellow up so that they don't get in my gate. But uh, too late for that game plan. <laughs> Whoops. Beans. All right, so where are my other garbage gold mines? Uh, only at the front and range of crossbowmen fires. That's not ideal. Ah, oh, shit. How many people are here? Okay, uh... Now... <laughs> people in the lobby were concerned initially. They're like, I don't know, man. Like, if I get Prime Troll Jr. on my team, is that balanced? You know, like, maybe maybe it's too OP for my team. Uh, so it's like, okay, okay. Well, I still think that I need Prime Troll Jr. to even have a chance here. So, I took Prime Troll Jr. And it looks like the verdict, my friends, is that uh, not enough power sucks. He might have arson too, so he could, in theory, get through that pretty quickly. Oh, this is bad. Oh god, I might actually open that up by accident. Okie dokie. So I'll need some uh, pikes. Probably arson doesn't matter here, but arson is disgusting with the goths. New tech they added at the barracks, very cheap. Gives an additional uh, two attack bonus to buildings for your infantry units. It's crazy. Okay. Hydrilli says, how can I get better where I can't play multiplayer due to my location getting kicked for ping? Well, there are plenty of people who will play with you, I hope at least, you know, maybe friends as well. You can find someone in your region, right? I hope. 
If not, I recommend watching the tutorials. Uh, I have a playlist of them. Uh, I think my most useful one is the one that is like economy management, strategy choices. It's like a 1v1 Black Forest game. Also, the How to Become a Better Player one I think is also very good. So I recommend watching all of those. Um, you can always play it with the AI. I also have a custom AI, which might be helpful to you. Put my heart and soul into that guy. So definitely recommend giving that a look. And just uh, hang out in this community. I, You will find someone Hadralius or Hadralis Q in my chat who I'm sure would love to play with you. And I would love to play with you too. Assuming I have the free time, I would do it in a heartbeat. As long as your ping isn't 5 trillion, and really, like, unless you live on the moon, it should be playable. That's fine. Okay. Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. Gonna get housed here, because he killed my house builder. Is it safe to build a gate here? Well, I might need to for trade purposes later. Hopefully they don't make me regret that decision. But I don't think they can do too much substantial raiding, he says with no confidence whatsoever. I think my castles will keep me safe, but... Can I really guarantee that? I don't know. Hello, Legoer! I'm sure I've missed plenty of people's Twitch messages. Feel free to get, ask me again within a couple of minutes. Let me just direct my camera over here. Shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I panned my camera to the left. That was a mistake. <laughs> Some things are not meant for mortal eyes. Children, avert, avert thy gaze! R-rated Age of Empires 2. Not safe for work at all. Oh god, the slinger brutality. Alright, Ice Age coming. I owe you, uh, owe you a root beer or something. I don't know. Ah, oh, it sucks. He died so young. By the way, check out this BM uh, mining camp here for Mata. He's very cute. <sighs> My only beef with Arena is that as a map, there is just it feels like there's not a lot of space to build. Things get really cramped really fast, so. so that is a problem on some level. So I should be able to clean this fellow up just a bit. Uh, I don't know if I actually have the troops to rescue our friend across the map, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hopefully arson is enough here. Uh, if I get gold starved, I guess it's not the end of the world, but it'll be bad. Uh, I'm the goth, so at least I can spam the cheap trash units. I don't think it's a big deal that I have that palisade gate back there. I don't think they can... Significant. I don't think they can take advantage of that. They have castles. So I wanted Elite Huskarl. How much does this tech cost? So much gold. Gosh. Oof. Might need champs. Flatch said, uh, how's green going? Oh, dude, he's, green's doing great, Flatch. Um, yeah, he's doing fine. <laughs> we do some stone. Okay, man. Well, like, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You're gonna have whatever you want. Well, also, uh, if you're watching this live, today's Zach's birthday. So if you can, make sure you take a moment to wish him a happy birthday. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. He is 23 now! So yeah, Zach is really old and wrinkly. Very, very wrinkly. As uh, ballistic, sure. Oh, it's so arbalists. Oh no, that is not what the doctor ordered. What I'm gonna need is actually just a bigger economy. Oh, balls, balls, balls. There is not enough time in the world for all the things I need to transition into this game. I'll also probably be doing a lot more like miscellaneous pro commentaries. So even if it doesn't say break the meta in the name, I assure you it is interesting, intriguing, and awesome. Uh, I might do more break the meta stuff as well, but... Basically, if I'm doing a pro commentary and it's not like a full series of games, I generally try to prefer to stick to, like... You know, only, uh... Casting the best games in a series, so... If you're looking for something interesting, even if it doesn't say break the meta in the name, it's probably interesting. Uh, okay, well, we're making some progress over here, but I still have to deal with all those arbs. Good news is these knights don't scare me that much. Do I need Onager this game? The answer is probably. Lupas isn't older than Zack. 
It's okay, Glue Pot, as long as you still remember who we are. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Obviously kidding, of course. <laughs> 23 is quite young. Oh my. <laughs> well, oh well, it appears we've reached an impasse. I like this choice from Red to make Long Swordsman. I think Long Swordsman will be good here. I don't have the economy to support this, nor do I have the space to boom up uh, to make a big enough economy. I might actually have to start farming outside those walls. Crap, crud, crappity crud. Crud. Uh, so I'll need more husk girls, yeah. There are a lot of orange names here, yes. I have elite husk girls, oh my god, but I do need more of them. I, I can't make them because I lack gold. Otherwise I would. Generally speaking, if you're wondering why I'm not making X or Y, chances are I can't afford it, or it's just not going to be a realistic thing to transition into. Uh, in this case, it's just a poverty issue. <laughs> There's not enough money in the world for, uh, for what I need to build. I might need to start farming outside my walls, which I don't really feel safe doing, but I don't think I have a choice. I, I, still, my economy is a little tinier than, uh, than I'd like it to be. Ah, the chainsaws in the background, the sounds of nature. The spirits of the wild welcome you. <laughs> Prepare to get shanked, my friend. Crud. Crud, crud. Cruddy crud cruds. Ah, uh, coinage. I don't know why I keep panning my camera over to the left. It's not going to be good news. <laughs> my little heart can't take it. No, I meant to build more houses, not not too bad ox. Bzzz, bzzz. It's like there's giant bees outside my window. They're telling me to make more huskarls. Bzzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yes, hello, Mr. Tree. This is Chainsaw. Yes, this is Chainsaw. Okay. Bzz. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of stuff. Yeah, one thing that, uh... It's important that people know is that even if I lose, and even if I'm being silly, I still tried my best to win. <laughs> so I don't want people to think that like there's some sort of like untapped Super Saiyan power thing, and I'm like, this isn't even my final form. No, like every time I lose, it's because I'm actually playing with one hand and like taking huge bong rips with the other. It's not, it's not actually how it works. I'm trying my best, but there's only so much I can do, you know? That being said, I have not given up. I think we can win this. You also can tell how serious I'm playing by how many times I break out into a bad German accent. These things are directly proportional. Uh, Kondrichthus says you can totally get inside Red's walls with siege towers. You know, at some point, um, I'll make a siege tower. Just like at some point we will actually see some cavalry archer play from the Turks. It'll happen eventually. I've just never really- oh my gosh. I've never really been in a situation where I've been like, it's it's siege tower time. This unit is so expensive, and while I'm on the topic of it, I do not like this unit at all. I think that this is the, I think this unit is like impossible to balance. I don't think it should be in the game. Uh, I think it's it's so it's such a niche unit, and so unfathomably game breaking in the right situations, and completely useless and a waste of money in most situations. It's basically only playable on Arena because it's a map where you start with walls and, you know, you're able to just hop over them pretty easily. But in, in many cases, you know, your opponent can just double wall and send, like, Black Forest. So on Arena, there's a lot of surface area here to take advantage of. That's not going to be the case a lot of the time. Uh, and when it is good, uh, I think it's, it's very cheesy. And, yeah, I think it's pretty game-breaking when it's actually useful. Uh, but most of the time, it won't be useful. In fact, most of the time, it will be really bad. So, I'm not a huge fan of units like that. I think it's okay to have, like, some very niche units. 
but when it's good, the siege tower is just a way to sort of cheese a win out. So it's not not exactly what I was looking for. Still think it's interesting, and that's just my personal opinion, which is certainly subject to change over time. As uh, yeah, I got I got a lot of experimenting to do, a lot of playtesting to go see how everything is working out. I am glad that it's this expensive because I think the games would be really stupid if it was like really really cheap, and you could just make it without a care in the world. I think it's smart that purple is transitioning to champions like that late game course very much counter unit focus. Oh my god, it says, does Torsion Engines mean Ethiopian Siege Towers? De no, no, it doesn't affect the Siege Towers, no. Hello, the Blackwinds, good to see ya, and hello, Emro! Welcome, it's good to see you here as well. Oh god. The Hun's defense is real. Nice try, guy. Thurman Kingfin says, Psy res loses again. Well, you know, I can only... <laughs> can't win a wall. It's not like I'm deliberately stacking the teams against me. Uh... Just, it just happens. You know, RNG, man. Uh, I don't know how good everybody is. And we try our best. That being said, is it over? Okay, well, I, I, I'm actually winning if I don't pan my camera to the right. I think I said left most of the game, but it's actually my right. Directionally challenged. Uh, if I don't pan my camera to the right, if we pay attention to the left side of the map... I got this. Easiest game of my life. If we pan over to the left, easy. Pan over to the right, uh-oh. Hello, Jackson Beath. Good to see you again. Yeah, Castle of Defend, this forward gold might be better. Uh, I was going to put it there originally, but they stopped pressuring that, and I'm winning this side enough that I don't actually think it matters that my front gold is exposed. I think the enemy team could take advantage of that if they knew that, but I don't think they have enough map information to know, which is good. Uh, otherwise, that would be problematic, I think. Wow, unipathing in this game is ass. Why, why are these guys stopping? <laughs> Oh no, it's like a frame rate thing, I think. I think AV2 is dying. Uh-oh. I think I broke the game. Come on, you can do it. Oh man. I don't know if it's possible, but I used to joke about this a lot back in my older videos, but I would love to do like a charity fund where you just upgrade people's like computers, you know? <laughs> or as I used to joke, send computers to starving kids in Africa. Send them the uh, Alienware computers. I'm so hungry. Oh, well, I don't have any food for you, but uh, you, at least you can play Crisis at 60 frames per second. <laughs> Perhaps a joke in ill taste, but a joke nonetheless. Uh, I think it'd be great. Yeah, we can send gaming computers to people. Who knows? And everyone can run AV2 HD. Now that... That'd be a charity you can get behind. No Alienware left behind. Now, I, I use Alienware as a bad example because their stuff is very, very expensive and you could probably get a computer as good for much cheaper, but I'm just using them as an example for comedic effects. Probably better budget options, I think. Yeah, iPads to Africa. Exactly, Lemon Bender, you understand. <laughs> Everybody can play Candy Crush. Shit, why is the voice right? Ah. Uh. Curses! Foiled again. Alright, you're in this one, the voice. See, I, I figured you would be right eventually, but I just wanted... I wanted you to be wrong this one time. Uh, because... This is inconvenient for me. <laughs> this is a minor setback. Crud, crud. You know, I said the long surgeon were a good choice, but I think it's reaching the point in the game where this actually might not be optimal for the, the, the Goths player anymore, just because he doesn't get champions. And now that I have all my infantry upgrades, it just might not actually be efficient. Uh, at least until he gets two handed swordsmen. Even then, two handed swordsmen are just actually quite weak for the cost, so. Uh, Goths versus Huns is very much Goths' favorite if the game goes incredibly late, which it did, and I get all my upgrades and Huskarls. Huns don't really have a clear response to this, so I guess you still have to make two handed swordsmen. I mean, you could probably make. No, I, I guess you still have to make two handed swordsmen. That sucks. Voice says you had it all planned from the start. Curse your clairvoyance! No! Okay. Dude, if I just don't pan my camera in this direction, this is the easiest game of my life. <laughs> I don't have enough population for this. Ain't nobody got population for this. Ah, oh, sucks. Okay, so nice to just do a drush. Alright, I'll start making militia now. Let me just get my men at arms first. 
I might do a Drush next game. Done them before. Red's trapping my cat. Oh, I know he is. I can't really do anything about it, though. He's being a little meanie pants. I can probably kill it now. I just had to wait till I cleared a couple of his guys. And oh, he got two-handed swordsman. What a guy. Uh, thankfully, I had enough houses that that's not a, the biggest deal, but it's annoying nonetheless. One of the annoying parts of Arena in the late game is that it can be very difficult to establish an efficient trade line. Uh, just due to the map layout, you know, your trade cards are going to get punched up on something, right? What the hell? Oh. I was about to say, did I just get Siege Towered? <laughs> I actually think he just walked in. Uh, wait, how did he get in? Oh, he just came through the front door. What a guy. Yeah, I think he just came through the front door. That sucks. Dude, I just need to kill Red. Like, I just need to kill him. I need to kill this guy. I also need to do something about this. Well, rip my food income. This is why uh, ringing the town bell is really bad, because it doesn't actually... It, it gets your whole economy idle, whereas only some of your villagers need to be in the TC, right? Like, these ones over here should still be working. Uh, thank you, uh, n 61 for the sub! Much appreciated. Ah, oh, balls. I need, like, so many more upgrades. Alright, clear out those Magri Hussars. They're a little bit tricky to remove. Very good rating units because of their high pierce armor and natural HP. Makes them very resistant to town center shots. And since I didn't actually have a defensive castle in the area, I got punished for that. Uh, I had to actually, you know, shift some military units and get some idle time. So that was pretty devastating, actually. Uh, this castle was probably positioned too far forward. It's uncharacteristic of me to normally put a castle that far forward. Usually I try to... Leave it so it, I don't have to worry about getting raided. Uh-oh. I'm actually falling quite behind here in military due to a lack of cash. Uh, I'm honestly just being stretched kind of thin right now. Um, and, like, being, you know, trying to help on this side means that I struggle a lot on the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, at least I have champions. So that'll be nice. In case Mesky has water map next. Might do that. The thing is, this is like, the other thing is that uh, it's also difficult for me to find players who want to play the things that I get suggestions for. Like, like you should play Hamburger. Uh, I, you can't find seven people who want to play Hamburger. <laughs> uh, water maps suffer from those problems to a degree, but I think I can rally support for at least one game of water. I think I might be... I think I might be dead. Got your military at the top of yellow. Uh, I have a couple of units. Most of them are attacking. Except for like 10, which are not. It's not much of a military. It's more like a small provisional force. A local militia. Well, local champions, I guess. I would like Heavy Scorpion, actually, as weird as that is. I think Heavy Scorpion might be pretty good here. So I'm going to go with that. Believe it or not, Goths are more than just Huskarls, and if you want to win games as the Goths, you must take advantage of all the bullshit that they have access to. Don't forget about the champions and the halbs. In fact, they have a reasonably good tech tree too. Sometimes you will need hand cannoneers to deal with opposing infantry units. It will come up, I guarantee it. There will be situations. Yes, I think we are doomed! Yes. Hey, yeah. man. All right, well, we'll win next game, right? Right? <laughs> it's an intense game. One thing that I'm never, uh, never quite sure of is, like, some people don't, uh, obviously, is a vocal minority, but uh, some people don't like it when I lose. But, like, there's a finite number of wins. Like, sometimes it's just hard for me to get a win, so, you know. Loss is better than nothing, right? Also, in my personal opinion, I think that you can learn a lot from loss. And as long as the game wasn't completely one-sided, and I think there was a lot of interesting stuff going on here, like, I thought this game was the bee's knees. So as always, let me know what you think. I appreciate it. I do read all of it. I don't appreciate that he's using the staggered formation here. He might actually... It's going to be difficult for me to get a good onager shot.
Yeah, well, I'll uh, try and fire a shot sometime before the next millennium, and it looks like this shot will not go off. The scorpions here are fantastic against those mass range units, the mass arabs, low uh, pierce armor units, like the uh, halberdiers. Yes. They were not giving up. GG, friends. GG, well played! Prime Paxes, you may want to move, remove the gate because a lot of units are getting stuck there. That's true, but I don't think it's actually a problem that they're getting stuck there, as I'm funneling them up to get... Really, like, I'm just stalling, so I think it's a good thing that they're getting funneled up, even though they're my own units. Check out the Scorpion value. Because uh, the enemy units are getting funneled up there, too, and they're taking a lot of damage from Scorpion shots. So, yeah, I'm just going to resign. <laughs> uh, scorpions, I, I like the Scorpions here, I do. I think that those would eventually be good. So, yeah. Team says it's time to call GG, so we can call it. Uh, I think it's not completely over yet, but I do think if you... Look at it, and trust me, I'm in the game. I don't think we can win it. Uh, we can probably lose really slowly, but might be tricky. Fiat Kappa asks, do bees have knees? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Does anyone know if bees have knees? Huh. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if they... No idea. Ooh. Well, try my best. Can't win them all. Uh, my opening was was bad, but thankfully it's arena, so on arena, even if you don't find your sheep for the first minute, uh, it didn't actually slow me down that much. Slow me down a bit, uh, but I don't think it actually mattered here, so I think that's okay. Uh, I ended up being able to boom beyond that, and the trick is, is you see something like that, and you know I could have cut like two villagers and gone up at the normal advancement time for the feudal age, right? So I could have been like a minute faster. But I think it's important that I, I didn't cut my economy back too much and that I had the regular amount of villagers, which is about like 27 for a fast castle age, like 27 population. So it'd be like 26 fills. I think it's important that I had those extra few. So that way I would have more villagers stockpiling me resources while I'm advancing. You would uh, you would not believe how much of a difference that can make. Kelts next? We'll see. Astro Boy, I can't 1v7 my eye. <laughs> see ya, Michael OZ. Have a good one. Italians, please. I could do Italians. Mmm. Oh, don't worry about it, Peter Simple. Like, what matters the most is like that you had fun and that you tried your best, and I think that you did a I think you did a good job, Peter. Don't worry about it. We all have to start somewhere. Someday you will be the master. Uh yeah. I thought you fielded out a pretty pretty impressive army. We'll get him next time, Ice Age coming. We'll get him next time. Sorry that you got to uh experience the full the full power of the enemy team. It, it's always unfortunate, you know, when you're the flank and uh, you get kind of like steamrolled and then you're playing on the back foot the entire game. But I appreciate that, you know, yeah. You kept trying to build back up. That's what you got to do when you lose your base is uh, if the rest of your team is doing fine, and we were, uh, don't give up because you can actually win those games. But the trick is, is when you lose your base is to put your focus on the economy and not worry about your military until you're basically fully boomed up. So what you want to do is you want to take whatever villagers you had left and build like six town centers and try and get to 100 villagers ASAP. You always want a minimum of 100 every game. Uh, so yeah, you want to build like as many town centers as possible. If you don't have the resources for it, then you can ask for a few hundred from your teammates and then you try and get to that 100 villagers and then make a military. That's the best way to stage a comeback. I'm gonna worry him. I thought your Incas was sick. Thank you, Venturiers. It's very great game, Rezo. Shat my pants, the scorpions. Yeah, the scorpions are pretty cute. I, I actually like the scorpions a lot there. Uh, I think you played really well, Venturior. I think everyone did. Uh, Lorik, that was the that was the lower-rated game, so I'll be doing a higher-rated game now, and then another uh, sort of lower, mixed-rated game after that. Opportunity Forge says, I feel like the $500 guy deserves a free slot in the viewer game. Uh, I don't know if that's fair uh, to give spots to donors. Uh, that being said, I absolutely really 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 appreciate the donation and I'm willing to do it I just don't know if that's the right I don't know if that's the right precedent to set I guess right like <laughs> I don't want people donating like assuming that they're gonna get like a spot in the game right if that makes any sense oh no problem Lord Potato good to see you again by the way all right so thank you so much for watching so far but don't go anywhere as we'll be right back in a couple of minutes with the next match of the live stream I'm gonna be doing two more games after this as always your support's appreciated if you enjoyed watching this match, I have plenty of other Age of Empires 2 videos on my YouTube channel, as well as videos of other games. If you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. And of course, we'll get them next time. It's time to win a game. 
So yeah, I'll be right back. I have plenty of other AV2 stuff on YouTube. If you're looking for overviews of each of the new civilizations, the four new ones, the Berbers, the Malians, Ethiopians, and the Portuguese, I have an overview vid for each of those. And yeah, plenty more Age of Empires 2 as well as kind of for other games on the way. I'll be right back, guys. One to two minutes. We're going to play the next game, so don't go anywhere. All right, sounds good, someone else. Much appreciated. BRB, guys.